Let us look at an example of decision making under certainty. A manufacturer has two different kinds of machines, M1 and M2. He has received an order which can be processed either on M1 or on M2. Now for processing this order either on M1 or on M2, we have collected information about the processing times on this machines. So for machine M1, the setup time in minutes is 90 minutes while on M2, the setup time is 120 minutes. Now on the right hand side, you can see this is a picture of a lathe machine. So M1 and M2 are typically like this. So the first thing is to set up this machine to be able to process this kind of job. Now this thing here that you see this, this part here is the workpiece or the job that we are going to process on this machine. So setup time is the time you need to prepare a machine for processing a new type of job. For example, if you are manufacturing 1000 pens on a machine, you may need say 60 minutes of setup time. This is a fixed amount of time irrespective of whether you are manufacturing 1000 pens or 10,000 pens. And you need this time only once before the start of manufacturing. However, after you have processed the 1000 pens, if you are now going to process 1000 pencils, then you have to again set the machine up to be able to process the pencils. So again, you will need a setup time for setting up the machine. So in our case, M1 needs a setup time of 90 minutes while M2 needs a setup time of 120 minutes. The next data is regarding the tooling up cost. So the machine needs a cutting tool to convert the raw material into a finished good. So there is a cost associated with this tool and M1 has a cost of 600 rupees and M2 has a cost of 1800 rupees for this tool. The machining time per piece is 12 minutes on M1 and 4 minutes on M2. Now machining time is the time required to process a job on the machine. So this is actually the time where we are converting the raw material into a finished good. This is a variable time dependent on the number of pieces that we are processing. The next item is machine cost per hour. So for M1, the machine cost is 40 rupees per hour. While for M2, the machine cost per hour is 90 rupees. So let's assume that this machine has been leased. So we have to pay an amount to the owner for the time period that we have leased the machine for. So per hour, the amount that we have to pay for M1 is 40 rupees, whereas for M2, it is 90 rupees. Now with this information, we are being asked to determine which of the two machines will you choose to do the job if the order quantity is 1000 numbers. So we have 1000 such pieces like this and we have to process them into a finished good. So which of these two machines will you choose? So here the criteria to choose the machine will be the relative cost. So the machine which incurs lesser cost among the two will be chosen. So here M1 and M2 are two different type of machines. However, both of them 
can do the job which we have to do. So let's say this is M1. And this is M2. Now, first difference between the two is in the setup time, which is given to us in minutes. So for M1, the setup time is 90 minutes, while for M2, the setup time is 120 minutes. The next difference is in the tooling up cost. So for M1, it is rupees 600, while for M2, it is rupees 1800. The next is the machine time per piece. which is rupees 12 per piece for M1 and rupees 4 per piece for M2. Next is the machine cost per hour, and this is rupees 40 for M1 and rupees 90 for M2. So if we compare the two, basically M1 has a lower setup time as compared to M2. M1 has a lower tooling up cost as compared to M2. However, M1 has a higher machining time per piece as compared to M2. And also, M1 has a lower machine cost per hour as compared to M2. So now there are some things for which M1 is cheaper than M2 whereas there are some things where M1 is costlier than M2. So we have to find out on an overall basis whether M1 is cheaper or M2 is cheaper to perform the job. So let's find it out. So here in order to find out which is a better option, we have to first convert all these numbers in terms of rupees. So let's first take the machine M1. Now the first item is the setup time, which has been given to us in minutes, and that is 90 minutes. And we already know that the machine cost for M1 per hour is 40 rupees. So let's convert this 90 minutes in terms of rupees. Now, we know that for 60 minutes, that is one hour, the cost is 40 rupees. So for 90 minutes, what is the cost? So cross multiplication here x multiplied by 60 is equal to 90 multiplied by 40. Therefore, x is equal to 90 multiplied by 40 divided by 60. So 0 cancels with 0. 2 3s are 6. 2 2s are 4. 3 1s are 3. 3 3s three are 9. Therefore, x is equal to 30 multiplied by 2 which is 60 rupees. Now the second item is the tooling up cost. Which is already given to us as 600 rupees for M1. The third item is the machine time per piece. So this is given to us as 12 minutes per piece. Now we know that here we have to process 1000 pieces. And so we want to find out how much time is it going to take for machining on these 1000 pieces. 
so for one piece time taken is 12 minutes for thousand pieces it is x so again cross multiplication so x is equal to 12 multiplied by thousand which is equal to 12,000 minutes so basically we are going to use this machine for 12,000 minutes to process these thousand pieces now we know that per hour that is for 60 minutes the cost is 40 rupees for m1 so we have to find out the cost for 12,000 minutes so let's find it out so for 60 minutes cost is 40 so for 12,000 cost is x again cross multiplication so 60x is equal to 40 multiplied by 12,000 so x is equal to 40 multiplied by 12,000 divided by 60 0 cancels with 0 6 1s are 6 6 2s are 12 and these two zeros or x is equal to 4 2s are 8 and 3 zeros rupees so here we have converted the setup time in terms of rupees tooling up cost is already in terms of rupees and we also converted the machining time in terms of rupees so let's find out the total cost of processing 1000 pieces on M1. So total cost will be the addition of these three that is setup plus tooling plus the machining. So this is equal to 60 rupees plus 600 rupees plus 8000 so this is equal to 8660 rupees this is the total cost for m1 now similarly let's find out the total cost for processing these thousand pieces on M2. Let me note down the total cost here for M1. So total cost for M1 is 8,660 rupees. So for M2, first is again the setup time. Which is given in minutes. For M2 it is 120 minutes. So this is the time it will take for us to set up this machine to process those thousand pieces. Now we know that the cost of the machine per hour is 90 rupees. So let's convert this in terms of the cost of the machine. That is how much money are we spending to set up this machine so for per hour the cost is 90 rupees that is for 60 minutes cost is 90 rupees so for 120 minutes how much is the cost so let's say this is x cross multiplication 60 x is equal to 90 multiplied by 120 or x is equal to 90 multiplied by 120 divided by 60 0 cancels with 0 6 2s are 12 so 9 2s are 18 180 rupees the second item is the tooling up cost which is given as 1800 rupees now third is machining time per piece which is given to us as four minutes so for one piece to be processed on machine m2 
four minutes are required so how much time is required for processing thousand pieces because we have to process thousand pieces on m2 so for one piece four minutes for thousand pieces let's say it is x so cross multiplication x multiplied by 1 is x is equal to 4 multiplied by 1000 is 4000 so 4000 minutes are required for processing 1000 pieces on m2 so because there is cost associated for the time that we are using m2 we have to convert this time in terms of rupees now we know that the machine cost per hour is 90 rupees so for 60 minutes the machine cost is 90 rupees so for 4000 minutes how much is the cost so cross multiplication x multiplied by 60 is equal to 4000 multiplied by 90 or x is equal to 4000 multiplied by 90 divided by 60 0 cancels with 0 2 3s are 6 2 2s are 4 3 1s are 3 3 3s are 9 or x is equal to 3 2s are 6 so 6000 rupees so here we have converted the setup time in terms of rupees tooling cost was already in terms of rupees and we have converted the machining time also in terms of rupees so let us find out the total cost of processing 1000 pieces on machine M2 so the total cost will be equal to the setup plus tooling plus the machining which is equal to 180 plus 1800 plus 6000 so this is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 8 plus 0 plus 0 is 8 1 plus 8 is 9 plus 0 is 9 and 6 plus 1 is 7 rupees so the total cost for processing 1000 pieces on M2 is 7980 rupees so the total cost here is 7980 rupees so now if we compare m1 with m2 we find m2 to be a more economical machine between the two hence the recommendation or the decision should be to choose m2 machine so let us quickly analyze these two machines and the data so the setup time is lesser for m1 as compared to m2 but that is a very less difference 90 minutes versus 120 minutes the tooling up cost is also less for m1 but again the difference is not that huge 600 rupees versus 1800 rupees the machining time per piece in minutes is lower for m2 so what that means is that m2 is a much more efficient machine in terms of processing the jobs and the difference per piece is 12 minus 4 which is 8 minutes and then when you multiply this with the number of pieces which is 1000 the difference here is 8000 minutes so that kind of supersedes all these other differences that we had thereby making m2 a much more economical machine than m1